Welcome back to the video tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Superman. If you're new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now I'm gonna pick a point in the middle of his hairline and I'm gonna draw a flying across to the right and slightly upwards. And from the same point, I'm gonna draw a similar curve line across to the left and shorter. And at that ending point, slightly above, curve line downwards and flare it slightly out to the left, curl it inwards to the right, turn it downwards, curl it out with a curve line to the left, sharp turn back to the right with a curve line and I'm going to trace the same set of line back upwards on the left corner. Semi-scoot turn upwards at that point, arch curve line across to the hairline on the right. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw from the middle of his hairline a small arch curve line at that corner, turn it diagonally downwards to the left. On the left side of that whole thing, I'm going to draw the side of his hairline with curve line downwards and slightly out to the left, extend it downwards to his cheek, turn it slightly inwards below the cheek and semi could turn diagonally across to the right on his jaw right there. At the ending point of his hairline on the right, turn it downwards with a curve line, turn it diagonally out to the right, turn it downwards and flare it slightly out, turn it slightly inwards below his cheek, flare it back out on his jaw, semi could turn diagonally across to the left and to his chin. On his chin, I'm going to draw a curve line across to the left at that corner. At the side of his head, I'm going to draw his ear with a curve line upwards and slightly flare it out. Semi could turn out to the right, turn it downwards, turn it diagonally down and to the side of his head, semi could turn to the left. I'm going to do the same thing for his left ear. Above the ear, I'm going to draw the side of his hair with curve line upwards, flare it slightly out and turn it back inwards at the upper corner. Semis could turn to the middle of his head. Semis could turn downwards at the upper point right here. From that point, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards to his hairline. And from that same point, I'm gonna draw an arch curve line to the right. Turn it downwards and flare it slightly out. Turn it downwards to his ear. Now for his eyebrow, I'm gonna draw inside of his face in the middle, off center to the right, a short line downwards at that corner. Turn it across to the right and slightly up. Curve line across to the right. Repeat that same set of curve line across again for the upper line of his eyebrow at that corner. And below the eyebrow, I'm gonna draw his eye from the inner corner, a line upwards. Turn it across to the right in a short diagonal curve line downwards to the right. For the lower line of his eye, I'm going to take the same inner corner and draw a line across at this lower point to the right. And inside of his eye, I'm going to draw a small circular shape in the middle point for his pupil. At the inner corner of his eye, I'm going to draw a short line downwards and slightly to the middle. And I'm going to mirror the whole eyebrow shape and the eye shape on the left side of his face. Below the eye, in the middle point, I'm going to draw the tip of his nose with a small U curve line across at that corner. And at the side of that, curve line downwards on both the left and right and turn it to the middle at the lower point. 
below the nose, I'm going to draw his mouth with a curved line across from the left corner to the right. And below that, a short line across in the middle point for his lower lips. Below his lips, I'm going to draw the top of his chin with an arch curve line across at that corner. Below that arch curve line, I'm going to draw a short line downwards in the middle point on his chin right there. Now below his head, I'm going to draw his neck on the left with a line downwards, flare it diagonally out to the left, and at that ending point, I'm going to draw the top of his cape with curve line downwards, turn it diagonally inwards to the right, sharp turn across to the left, turn it diagonally upwards with curve line to the left, sharp turn across to the right with an arch curve line, and above that, diagonal curve line across to the right and slightly up, and at that ending point, an arch curve line to the side of his neck. Mirror that same set of line on the right side of his neck. Now on his neck below his head, I'm going to draw the color of his outfit with a V-shape across in the middle point right there. Turn it diagonally across to the side of his neck and slightly upwards with a curve line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. Repeat that same set of line again, slightly below that. And at the side of that V shape, I'm gonna draw a similar curve line across to the side of his neck, below that whole thing. And on the left side as well. And below that, I'm going to draw a curve line across from the base of his neck on the left to the right. Below that whole thing, I'm going to draw a curve line across from the base of his neck on the left all the way to the right. And repeat that curve line again below that all the way to the lower point of his cape. Right there. And below that whole thing, I'm going to draw in the middle point a line across for the Superman logo on his chest right there. Turn it diagonally down and out on both sides. A V-shape across from the left all the way to the ending point on the right. Inside of that, at the lower point, I'm going to draw a triangle shape at that corner. And on the top left corner, I'm going to draw a short line across at that point. Turn it diagonally down to the left. Turn it diagonally down to the right. Diagonal curve line across to the right and upwards. On the top right corner, I'm going to draw a small triangle shape at that point. And on the right side of that, a short line downwards. Turn it across to the left. Turn it diagonally upwards to the left with a curve line. Curve line across to the left. Turn it diagonally down to the left. Semi turn to the right and down. Curve line across to the right and slightly downwards. Semi turn downwards on the right corner right there. Turn it diagonally up to the right with a straight line. Turn it diagonally up to the left at that corner. Below that whole thing, I'm going to do on the left a diagonal line downwards to the right. Turn it up, same as a turn to the right, same as a turn downwards, curve line across to the right, turn it diagonally up to the right, same as a turn diagonally up to the left with a curve line, same as a turn slightly up on the left corner right there. Above the logo, I'm going to draw a line upwards on the left corner right there and another one on the right side. At the lower point of the logo on the left, I'm going to draw a curve line across to the left and slightly downwards. Semi-scatter turn diagonally up to the left. 
Samus could turn diagonally up to the right and to his cape at that point. At the outer corner of his cape, I'm going to draw the side of his shoulder with curve line diagonally down to the left right there. And below that, on the left, another diagonal curve line across to the left and downwards. Below that ending point, a line across to the left and slightly down. Same as could turn downwards. Curve line diagonally across to the left and downwards at that corner. Extend it downwards to his wrist. And on his wrist, curve line across to the right. Turn it diagonally up to the right and curve line across to the right. Turn it upwards at the inner corner of his wrist. Flare it slightly out to the right with a curve line. Turn it inwards to the inner corner of his elbow. And above that any point, diagonal curve line upwards to the right. Inside of his arm, at the side of his shoulder, I'm going to draw a short line across at that point. Turn it downwards, turn it diagonally out to the left and slightly downwards. Below that, on the left corner, a line diagonally down to the left. Turn it downwards, turn it diagonally down to the left. Now at the side of his elbow, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards at that corner. Turn it across to the right at the lower point. Repeat that same set of line again slightly to the left side of that. And below that set of line from the left corner, I'm going to draw a line diagonally across to the right and downwards. And below that line from the middle point, a line downwards at that corner. Turn it diagonally down to the left. From the inner corner of his wrist, I'm going to trace the same line along the edge at his lower point. And above that line from the inner corner on the right, curve line across to the left. Turn it diagonally up to the left, curve line across to the left. Repeat that same set of line again slightly below that. Now below his wrist, I'm going to draw his hand at the outer corner on the left, a curve line downwards, same as could turn to the right. And on the right side of that, a short line downwards at that corner, same as could turn across to the right. And repeat that same set of line again on the right corner right here. Samus could turn upwards on the right side. And on the right side of that whole thing, a diagonal line across to the right and downwards. Samus could turn upwards. Samus could turn to the left and slightly up. Samus could turn downwards. Below that ending point, I'm going to draw a short line diagonally across to the right and slightly down. Now below his wrist at the inner corner, I'm going to draw his thumb with curve line diagonally down to the right. Same as could turn downwards and same as could turn to the left at the lower point. Now for the side of his outfit, at the inner corner of his arm, I'm going to draw a short line downwards at that corner. Turn it diagonally inwards to the right and turn it downwards at the side of his waist. At that ending point, I'm going to draw the top of his belt with a curve line across to the right, a V-shape across to the right at that corner, and curve line across to the right, similar to the left side of his belt. Above the belt, off center to the left, a short line upwards, an upside down V-shape across to the left, a short line downwards to the top of his belt. Above that shape, I'm going to draw a line upwards in the middle point. Turn it diagonally up to the left. And from that point, curve line diagonally up to the right. From that same point, I'm going to draw a diagonal line downwards to the side of his waist. Mirror the whole thing on the right side of his outfit.
Now below the logo on his tummy, I'm going to draw a short line downwards in the middle point right there. And on the left side of that ending point, the curve line across to the left. And on the left side of that, diagonal line upwards to the left at that corner. Mirror that same set of line across on the right side of his tummy at that corner. And below that, I'm going to repeat those same set of shape again at that corner. Below that, a short line downwards in the middle point. Below that short line, I'm going to draw a line across at that corner. Turn it diagonally downwards and flare it out on both the left and right side. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a V shape at the lower point. At the side of his belt, I'm going to draw a line downwards, flare it out and turn it downwards. Curve line across to the middle of his outfit, mirror that same set of shape on the right side. From the ending point on the left, a V shape across to the ending point on the right. Inside of that shape, I'm gonna trace the same set of line along the edge at this lower point. And below the belt, a curve line downwards on the left, flare it slightly out on his thigh right there, and turn it back inwards to his knee point. At the side of his knee, a line downwards at that corner. And below the knee, another curve line downwards, flare it out to the left and turn it downwards. But for the outer line of his right leg, I'm gonna draw below the belt, a line downwards at that corner. Flare it out diagonally to the right and downwards. Turn it back inwards on his knee point with a curve line. And at the side of his knee, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards at that corner. Below the knee, diagonal curve line downwards to the right right there. Turn it downwards. And in the middle of his leg, I'm going to draw a short line across below the belt at that corner. Turn it diagonally upwards on the right corner, semi turn to the right. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side right here. Now for the inner line of his left leg, below that, I'm gonna draw off center to the left, a curve line downwards. Turn it inwards to the side of his knee. And at the side of his knee, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards at that corner. Below that, another curve line downwards, flare it slightly out and turn it back inwards to his boots. Now at the ending point below, I'm going to draw his boots with a short line across on the right corner right there. Turn it diagonally up to the left, across to the left. Mirror that same diagonal line on the left corner, across to the left. Repeat that same set of line again slightly below that. the ending point on the left, I'm going to draw a line downwards, turn it inwards to his ankle point, flare it out with a curve line and turn it back inwards, and below that, curve line downwards, flare it slightly out to the left, semi turn inwards to the right, curve line across to the right, turn it diagonally up, semi turn upwards, Flare it slightly out and turn it diagonally inwards to the left. Flare it back upwards to the upper point of his boots at the inner corner right there. Inside of the boots in the middle point above, a line downwards at that corner. And below that, I'm going to draw an arch curve line across. Turn it downwards on both sides. And above his anchor point, I'm going to draw a V shape across from the left to the right. And at the lower point of that V shape, a line downwards at that corner. And below that line, a curve line across on his anchor point. Turn it downwards on both ending points. V shape across from the left to the right. Above that set of shape, I'm going to draw a line diagonally up to the side of his ankle on the left and right. 
below that whole thing in the middle point a line downwards at that corner and below that line I'm going to draw an arch curve line across from the left to the right and at the side of that arch curve line I'm going to draw a line downwards and slightly inwards to the middle of his feet and I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right here and slightly above the lowest point of his boots I'm going to trace the same outline along the edges now above his knee point, I'm going to draw a short line across that corner, turn it diagonally down, flare it out to the left, turn it downwards, sharp turn diagonally up to the middle of his knee and a line across at that corner. Mirror the whole thing on the right side of his knee. Above that whole thing, a line upwards in the middle point. Turn it diagonally up with a curve line to the left. And from the inner corner of his thigh, I'm going to draw a curve line diagonally across to the left at that corner. Turn it upwards at that point. Now for his right leg, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards off center to the right at that corner. Turn it diagonally out to the right and turn it downwards at the inner corner of his knee right there. On the left side of that ending point, diagonal curve line downwards to the left, turn it downwards, curve line diagonally down to the right, semi turn diagonally up to the right, across to the right, turn it diagonally down to the right with a curve line. Below that whole thing, I'm going to trace the same outline along the edge at this lower point, Sims could turn upwards on both sides with curve line. Below that, curve line downwards on the left corner, turn it inwards to his ankle point, flare it back slightly out below his ankle point, turn it inwards to the right and turn it downwards. Sims could turn diagonally down to the right, curve line across to the right, turn it diagonally up on the right corner. Same as turn upwards and to the left, flare it back out with a curve line and turn it back inwards, curve line upwards and slightly to the right at that corner. Inside of the boots at the lower point, I'm going to trace the same outline along the left corner right here and at this lower point for the base of his boots to the right side right there. And I'm going to copy the same pattern on his boots, similar to the left boots. For the pattern on the right leg, I'm going to repeat and mirror the same pattern similar to the left side. And on his knee right there as well. Now for his cape, below his arm on the left, at the inner corner, I'm going to align downwards and flare it out to the left right there continue that line downwards beyond the hand to the lower point of his cape and slightly above the boots I'm going to turn it sideways to the right and to his legs right there continue that line across the leg and on the right side right there and at that point I'm gonna make a turn back upwards for the right side of his cape, inwards to the left, all the way up right there. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.